Hey guys and welcome back. So we're talking about another widget, uh, widget which will be available in a Zabbix 6.0. Actually, it is already like if you download it just for the testing purposes, the release candidate or the beta 3, uh, you can already find this widget inside a Zabbix. So what's the purpose of this? Think about like this was a big pain for, for many years, let's say. If we're not that interested about uh, some raw data from our hosts or some, I don't know, just graphs or whatever else, we want to see top five hosts with uh, most uh, busy CPU utilization or out of RAM or out of disk space or whatever else. So just across all of our monitored environment, we want to see top five or top 10 or maybe 10 hosts that has uh, the most minimal uh, value out of those items. So uh, the min 10 hosts. Right now, this is possible with this simple widget. And uh, the only thing that you have to do if you uh, want to deploy it, so basically just create a new dashboard or use the one existing, and we need to create a new widget. So as usually, just uh, uh, scroll for to create a widget, and then you need to select the top hosts. So name it as usually is uh, optional uh, show header again is just just to visualize this is example geomap or not refresh interval remains the same and basically what we need to do is define an area from which do we want to take this data so we will be talking about one single item and one single item out of what either we define the host group that let's say could be the Linux servers or whatever, or we just specify the list of the hosts from which we want to grab these uh, top two, three, four, five, or whatever else. So in my case, let's just grab the Linux servers. So inside the Linux servers group, I will be doing this monitoring and uh, forming top five uh, the most utilized or whatever host. That's why I am not using the host field. But if you want to select just independent host, you of course can do that. Host tags is usually if you want to use tags, you can always do that. In my demo instance, I don't have any tags, so we'll skip it. And then uh, basically the only configuration part that comes with this widget is uh, the columns. And uh, for the initial one, let's just add um, visualization, right? And then we need to choose either this column will represent the item value or the host name or the text. So let's start with an item values time shift I'm sorry item so which item do we want to use for this widget for this visualization so let's say I'm going to use my uh, Linux servers uh, host group and I'm going to pick just one host which is inside you see there are in total four hosts and let's say available memory in the percentage so I will grab available memory in percentage item in all of the hosts that are present in the Linux servers host group. And I will display top 10 in this case, hosts would have the highest value of this item. So next one, time shift. Again, if we want to move uh, somewhere in the past, then you can use this time shift. Uh, I will not aggregation function. So none, this will be just uh, the value then there could be a minimal maximal average count of the value sum first or the last value in the selected period right display as is or this will be a visualization of a bar or this will be in the visualization of the indicator so let's pick an indicator and uh, first of all let's just add it and see how it looks like right so we have one column and everything like this click add there we go we have this uh, beautiful widget, which uh, doesn't give us give us a lot of information because there's still uh, some things to configure. So let's go back to the configuration. We see the indicator visualization, we see the actual value, we don't see the hosts. So let's add them. Let's add a new column, call it host name. There is an example and the data will be the host name, not anything else. So just click add and click apply. There we go. This becomes much better. So right now we see the information, right? Indicator visualization itself, the actual value that is received, the last received value of an item and a host name on which it was received. Then 
the first one visualization host name what else so we could change the thresholds of uh, this indicator so let's go to the visualization column and first of all think about this uh, so threshold starting from what value the color of the threshold will become red and uh, we're talking about the percentage right so probably zero till 100 but remember that by default the scale of this indicator is calculated so basically it is calculated from the minimal value in this case is 1501 and a maximal value is 83.61 which might make this uh, setting of let's say 50 click update apply and uh, yeah in this case it's pretty pretty uh, close but uh, if we're talking about some percentage or whatever else sometimes you might want to actually fill in that the minimal value of this indicator is zero and the maximal is let's say 100 and then you may be sure that uh, it actually looks like this um, what else of course we can also change uh, we can change the indicator to the bar like this click update and it will just change a little bit the visualization part this one is still gray because it did not reach uh, the 50 value right and uh, if let's say we want to display only top two hosts from my host group with uh, top two highest values of uh, um, memory usage then just select two and there we go we have only two values what else so let's bring it back to the 10 and also important thing is like let's change the item to from our uh available memory to something as uh, root total space now let's remove the thresholds so let's remove the color so everything everything else remains the same display the bar or indicator I prefer indicator for some case and history data will be auto uh, so we can also choose to grab this data from history or the trends and click update right so apply there we go and you can see the data as gigabytes so 38 uh, 29 28 and uh, also keep in mind that we have the same host group linux server same for hosts but only in three of those hosts i have items uh, that are actually measuring uh measuring what uh total space on the root so that's why we have only three lines and yeah so we have everything in the gigabytes and let's say if we want to define the thresholds we might again go to our visualization column and let's say add a threshold and if it is more than uh, 30 i want to make the color of the indicator red and basically everything is red right so this is not exactly what we expected why because uh, this is exactly as it is uh, in item configuration with the units right so this gigabytes is converted value from the bytes the raw data that is stored in the history database table is in the bytes and simply because on those items we have units uh this is showing as a gigabytes so if we need to specify some sort of the threshold we also need to do that either in bytes which is you, you see i've already done that but it's not the best way you can just add a units uh i don't remember i think it was g so update click apply and there we go it looks as we intended also keeping in mind that remember the thresholds uh not the thresholds but the minimal and ma maximal value is calculated so minimal is zero and the maximal is uh, 38 19 and let's say if i wanted to make uh, let's make it zero gigabytes and 100 gigabytes so now it will should be probably around in the first quarter so this click apply there we go so that's more or less it you can just add columns as many as you need uh, one will usually always be the visualization part maybe you want to display the value just as is without any any bars or whatever so just click apply there we go right it's just text and it is red because it is matching our threshold or maybe you want to do a visualization with the bar which looks like this 
and maybe you want to do a visualization with the indicator. If you want to add something else, you can always add multiple columns. Let's say make this one a text. And uh, you can see the text also supports like inventory, inventory macros is in host.com host or host.name. I'm not sure if this functionality is available in the RC1. I think maybe not. I'm not sure. Uh, so name again, let's be testing. Uh, this is testing of new widget. And let's make the base color Zabbix red. Click add, apply, and there we go, right? We can add just the text. Uh, what else? Uh, we can of course reorder these columns if we want. We can always click and see the raw data in uh, yeah, just the raw data without the units conversion. So in this case, in the bytes and uh, do the configuration. Uh, in my example, it's very small host group with just four hosts and three in this case. But uh, if you have, let's say your Linux servers with uh, 50,000 hosts inside, you can easy easily visualize top five hosts with the highest CPU utilization, top five hosts with the highest network bandwidth or uh, memory utilization or the free disk space or whatever else that you would want to monitor. So this is also very performance effective. So you should not worry about uh, putting a big strain on your uh, database. Um, just uh, as, as a thing to consider, like if you plan to use these heavily, maybe you would want to use Zabbix 6.0 feature database patch to add uh, primary keys to the history tables, which is not happening by default. So just read the re release notes. And uh, if you're okay with a downtime or maybe your database is not too big and it will not take too much time, then do this, uh, add a primary key to the database. You will find a SQL patch and uh, packages of the Zabbix. So that's about it about the new widget uh, top hosts. So I hope that you like it. I hope that you're also going to be using this. And thank you guys as usually for watching and we'll see you in the next videos. Goodbye.